Hi everyone, it's Justine and today's video is going to be a room decor video all about how to make this wall art. It's going to be the first installment of my room decor video series and I hope you guys enjoy it. On with the video! For the supplies, I used glitter, paint, fishing line, paint brushes, and a hole puncher. I also used some plain white cardstock. To start off, you're just going to take your paint and just paint whatever your heart desires. It really doesn't matter how nice it looks right now because you're going to be punching it out and in the end, as long as it looks colorful and it has different textures, it'll look pretty cool. Then you're just going to repeat this process and you can do as many pieces of paper as you would like. I did about four pieces and I also mixed my paints with white to get some pastel colors. Then I took some Mod Podge, and I know this wasn't in the beginning for the list of items that I was going to use, but I just took some Mod Podge because I wanted the glitter to adhere to the papers. So I coated the paper with the Mod Podge, and then I just sprinkled the glitter on, and then put another coat of Mod Podge after when it was dried. This allowed the glitter to stick, and it really helped to make it have a nice glittery effect. Once all of the papers have dried, you're just going to take your hole puncher and punch out any parts of the paper that you would like. And you can choose any shape. Um, you don't have to do a circle, but I just like the way that the circle looked. Also, I turn my hole puncher upside down because I like to see exactly where I'm punching in the paint so that I can get certain colors in. Then you're going to continue punching out these circles. And you can do as many pieces of paper as you would like because I did about four but that's the amount that I needed to cover my wall. So you can do as many as you would like and it really doesn't matter how many circles you have in the end because it's all up to your own preference or your wall space. Once you finish punching out all of your circles, you're just going to take your fishing line and your tape and then you're going to tape they're all your circles onto the fishing line and at first I was using one sided tape but I found out that double sided tape actually worked a lot better and it was easier to use also in this beginning part I was only taping one circle each but I at the end I ended up using two so it's like two sides being sandwiched together with the fishing line so that if the line turns you can see both sides have paint and I didn't really care so much about what my pattern was or where the placement of different colors was going. I kind of want it to be really random and just really colorful and bright. As you can see here, I'm just taking the tape and I'm rolling it up so that it becomes like sticky on both sides. And then I'm using that to attach the circles to both sides so that they're both colored. And then you're just going to continue doing this for as long as you would like. I did different lengths so that on my wall it had variations, but you can do it as long or as short as you would like. So this is how the final product came out. I just taped it with some clear tape to my wall, and I alternated it with some long and some short, and I made it look like they were all coming out from the daisy lights that are up above. I hope you guys like this video and expect more room decor videos very soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye!